we're here at the photography show. So welcome back to Thai Kicks. I've got a couple of announcements to tell you about. Firstly, I did a video last week and it was discussing potentially doing a raffle. So I've decided to do a raffle for these. So I'm gonna be raffling off these. These are a UK 9 US 10 pair of the Silver Bullet Air Max 97 OGs. And I felt that it was sort of time for us to collaborate, you and me, on a giveaway of a kind, you guys get the opportunity to win these for as little as five UK pounds a ticket. And I'll be posting where the raffle will be and when it's live on my Instagram account at Ty underscore K-I-X at Ty Kicks. And as soon as that's live, I will make sure that I will post a very brief video also on YouTube so you guys know if you didn't know, you can rock them or you can sell them. It's totally up to you. Other announcements are related to recent sneaker drops. So we had the Power Phase in black, they dropped recently and they seem to be sitting in some places not really selling as well as they did in the previous colorways. I'm sure they will go. There was a lot of people picking them up and realizing that there wasn't a fat amount of resale on them as well. We had the Holy Pack drop, we had the black and purple, we had the chalk color and we had the pink pair. And I managed to, courtesy of a friend of mine, has got a pink pair for me, which is awesome. So shout out to them. Hopefully I'll have those ready for a review sometime next week. And any of the shoes that did drop, I've got them currently in transportation in the post. So because of that, this week is a little bit of a different video. This week is going to be talking a little bit about my channel and about YouTube in general and how I try to produce content for you guys and how I've invested in my channel over the last sort of 18 months or so. So you all know that a long time ago I picked up myself this. The DJI Mavic is one of the better DJI drones that are produced and they produce this to be a more compact drone model compared to their Phantom series and their other series of drones. And I've been looking high and low for the right drone for me to be able to do some amazing aerial videos and photography. And I seriously love this drone. This is like one of my favorite toys in the bag and um, as you can tell I've given it a bit of a pimp my ride paint job. Other piece of investment and you'll know where this is going is I was initially filming on my phone back in the day early on in the channel and at Christmas I invested in this. Now this is the Canon G7X Mark II. It's well known in the vlogging community as one of the better cameras to vlog with and you also have the Sony series, the uh, RX 100 series I believe and they are exceptionally good cameras as well. I don't turn around to people and tell people what they should get. I turn around and say they should get the right product for them. And because of that, I know that it's 2018 and new technology is about. So I decided it was right to go and invest in some new technology. Now, earlier on in the year, I went to Devon and I picked up a brand new drone. I picked up the DJI Mavic Air and everyone wanted to know from comments and feedback that I've had, how good really is it up against the DJI Mavic Pro? So this weekend, I went off with my mate Ben to the photography show at the NEC to go and see what DJI have been cooking up as well. And at the back end of this video, I will be giving you a review of the DJI Mavic Air from my experiences since I picked it up in February time. Let's take you back to Sunday morning. <sighs> so um, it's Sunday morning and I'm about to leave the apartment I stayed in overnight in Leamington Spa. I went out with a couple of friends for a few drinks and food. It was really nice. But today we are going to the photography show at the NEC. So we're gonna to get to see some epic new technology, some new cameras. We're gonna do a masterclass. Me and my friend Ben are gonna be going to hit up the show in Birmingham. So I need to get over there. 
but one massive things just happened overnight which might make things a little bit harder than I expected but if you can see but quite a lot of snow fell overnight through the condensation in the windows we might be in a little bit of trouble that said we'll give it a try hopefully we can get there and I'll catch you guys maybe at the train station so we didn't get the train the weather was way way too bad to even contemplate getting the train so we just drove this is my mate Ben he decided to drive in the worst conditions but we finally managed to get here to the NEC So if you're ever looking to pick up a camera or a drone, check out the London Camera Exchange. They have got wicked deals and they helped me get my two drones in the last two years, the DJI Mavic Pro and the DJI Mavic Air. No cameras. I'm not going to buy anything today. There's no cameras being purchased by Ben today whatsoever. Doesn't fancy getting involved with all the uh, the nerd action today. It's just come for a, a browse. Yeah. And food. <laughs> and food. Now we're at a masterclass. It's for beginners. So hopefully we won't be beginners by the end of it. photography show now it's time to get some food and wow my camera's just blown up with light it's gone from being really dark to really locking in there did you learn anything a little bit don't, are you inspired don't go buy new cameras if you don't have any money <laughs> there we go then word of warning to anyone who's thinking about starting a youtube channel don't do it unless you can afford it so this is the part where we do the Mavic Air review. I took some amazing B-roll when I was down in Devon. I'm gonna take you back in time where I did my DJI Mavic testing and review. action today is that we are going to be heading down to Croyd Bay itself we're going to have a little look at the coast and the sea and everything that's really close to us the weather is kind of better than it was yesterday nowhere near as windy and I'm hoping I'm going to get an opportunity to be able to give the Mavic Air test flight and we're going to see how well it holds up around the coast and around the shore and we'll see whether it's actually capable of holding its own up against the Mavic Pro.
Right, so I've managed to finally find somewhere with a bit of shelter to be able to give you a little bit more insight into this new drone that I picked up. I brought my DJI Mavic Pro with me, which was the drone that I picked up earlier on last year, and the differences between them um, are quite big really in certain ways and not in other ways. Now I'm not a tech vlogger, I'm not a tech reviewer, so I'm going to give you my honest and quick opinion on what I think to the brand new DJI Mavic Air. Both of them do do full film 4K footage. They also obviously do different types of uh, quality of footage down to 2.5K, uh, your standard 4K and also your 1080p and below. And battery life for a product this small is a little bit shorter. So with the Mavic Pro, you get almost, almost 30 minutes. You're looking between 25, 30 minutes based on your usage. So if you're using it sport mode a lot, there's a good chance you're not going to get that much time out of it. If you just use it in its standard mode, it's not fighting winds and gusts, then you're going to get longer time out of it. It's the same with this in regard to if you are going to be flying this in wind and uh, it's going to be using a lot more power. But now with the Mavic Air, you now get a lot more for your money so starting price in the UK was roughly around 769 pounds for the base pack if you're looking for the fly more combo which you also got an extra two batteries you got a charger adapter for charging multiple batteries you got a carry case you got another carry case specifically just for the drone itself and you also got extra propellers and prop guards you got all sorts of different extras for around about 950 pounds and that is a brilliant bargain when you think of all those bought separately would cost you a lot more i made that error when i bought my first mavic pro i just bought the base model i wish i had bought the fly more pack i just couldn't afford it and this time i learnt my lesson let me just show you the Mavic Air's controller. So this is the Mavic Air controller. One of my favorite features to this that the Mavic Pro doesn't have is the detachable sticks. You can remove them, you can unfold where your phone will go as your viewfinder, and you can just place them away for a nice, smooth, flush store away. The major drawback for the Mavic Air is its range. It has a shorter range than the Mavic Pro, and that range doesn't use the amazing system that the Mavic Pro uses. The Mavic Air doesn't have OcuSync. Now, OcuSync was an amazing technology in the Mavic Pro and is also in some of the other Phantom ranges that allow you to get maximum range from your drone. That said, when it comes to line of sight, you shouldn't really need to worry about long distance flying. The law says you need to keep it within visual line of sight. That said, if you are very adventurous and like to push the limits and the boundaries of what the law allow, the Mavic Air doesn't have OcuSync, so you may not get the same kind of quality transmission as you would do from the Mavic Pro or Phantom series. And I can safely say that the Mavic Air is a fantastic choice. For a fly more pack under 1,000 UK pounds, it's definitely worth the pickup. It's got fantastic range for what the size is, and it is a very, very competent drone. Its video quality is absolutely stellar for the size, and it's extremely poor. Portable. I cannot recommend it enough and definitely if you are looking for something with a bit more range have a look at the Mavic Pro. Now guys, Tie Kicks doesn't exist without you and I really appreciate every single one of you who support the channel. Leave me comments and feedback and interact with me on social media. Don't forget to hit that like button. 
It's also really, really good to hit the subscribe button as well if you want to carry on watching Thai Kicks in the future and hit the bell next to the subscribe button if you want future updates of when I drop new videos and when that raffle is going to go live. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you this time next Tuesday.